Don Quixote. Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And as you've just seen, this is Super Don Quixote, uh, which uh, was released in 1984 by Universal. So, yeah, we're still doing the uh, Laserdisc uh, coin-op games. Uh, this one, as you can quite clearly see, is quite the shameless cash-in on the uh, popularity of Dragon's Lair. Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, it wasn't massively popular. It um, didn't appear in a vast number of arcades. It certainly didn't appear in any here in uh, South End. There was one. Uh, I think it was somewhere around like Chalkle Park or somewhere. If you know the lo the South End area, you'll know where that is. And there was one there. I've only played this a couple of times uh, back in the day. Because, uh, yeah, <coughs> Chalkland Park and that was not exactly local. So, um, yes, with the game essentially being a Dragon's Lair cash-in, it's, uh, it plays exactly the same way. But, uh, this game, it basically tells you which way to move, or if you're going to have to use the, uh, sword attack button which is handy. I mean, it's not like Dragon's Lair never tells you, but the clues that Dragon's Lair give you are a lot more subtle. On this, it just comes up on the uh, overlay, you know, which way to move and whatever. However, it doesn't give you an awful lot of time to react, so, uh, yeah, when you're playing the game, you're actually spending the vast majority of the time watching for uh, the overlay to tell you where to go rather than actually watching the uh, cartoon that's uh, right there in front of you. Although there are some uh, levels where you spend an awful lot of time just watching it and not actually doing anything. So I also get the impression that there aren't that many stages in this game because I've had a few warm-up goes and it gives me the same rooms, well, rooms or stages, whatever, all the time. And uh, I know maybe you have to do them in order or something, I don't fucking know. Well, anyway, let's get a game underway and uh, you'll see what I mean about this Super being the... Uh, Shameless uh, Dragon's Lair uh, cash-in. Here we go. And even the uh, starting sequence there is somewhat Dragon's Lair-esque. Alright, so this is always the first level with the bats and you can see the overlay there coming up telling you which way to move. And again, not giving you a great deal of time to uh, react to uh, seeing it. Uh, that's that level done. That's only the second time I've actually been able to do that level. Uh, you know, this one I've seen plenty of times before. I don't always manage to do it, but uh, well, we'll give it a go. Alright, and then we jump back, and that way again, and again, and that's that level done. <laughs> I haven't really done this room too many times on the uh, practice goes. If this is the one I'm thinking, this is one I always fuck up. It's not the one I'm thinking, but I still always fuck it up anyway. I fuck up with this cunt here. Fuck it, too slow! See what I mean about it not giving you a great deal of time to react. Now I would like to show you, okay, this is one of the uh, levels where you spend a lot of time watching and not doing very much. So I go through there and now we're just sitting here watching all of this. You 
you don't have to do anything until the overlay uh, appears and tells you what to do. So now we're finally back to uh, actually doing something again. And then we uh, tap a couple more. Land on there and off we fuck. Level done. So I mean once you've uh, memorised the moves, this is one I always fuck up. But yeah, once you memorise the moves, the game's easy. But of course, you probably would have put fuck knows how much... Uh, uh, and again, uh, always too late with that one. This is another one I've completed a few times. The emulator is rather handy because I probably would have spent like about 10 quid on practice goes uh, prior to uh, you know being able to do these uh, bloody stages. I can never remember if you duck or jump first. Duck. Alright, and now jump. There we go, uh, and that's that level done, I think. Yep. Um, I can't remember this one. Oh yeah, okay, I've done... well... Yeah, far too slow. Um, oh, okay, I, I didn't think that was my last life. See, yes, the game does rather unceremoniously dump you out of it once you've, uh, uh, you know, once it's uh, game over. Right, let's uh, try again. So we we'll have to go through all the same rooms. It must do them in a set order then. It's not random like Dragon's Lair, which I would prefer. When you watch now, I'll keep fucking this one up. And again, alright, so that's a level done. Ah, oh, so we go straight to this one this time. I guess there is a bit of a visual clue here as to where to go because you can see a huge great space. Oh, do you have to jump that way? Oh, no, this fucking one again. Alright, remember to react quicker. Jesus Christ, I thought I was uh, too slow there. There you go, so I did manage to do that one. Uh, oh, we're back to this Martian looking cunt here. This is one I keep fucking up, and I think I managed to do it in the last go, but I'm not going to do it now. No, maybe I didn't do it in the last one, because I don't remember that bit. Do you think I might actually get to see some uh, new uh, stages now? If it's, you know, if I can get through all of these uh, bits that I keep on having to do all the time. Well, let's get on with the review anyway while we're doing this. So, um... Graphically, I don't think the animation is anything like as good as the uh, Don Booth stuff in uh, Dragon's Lair. Um, the animation in Space Ace wasn't, I didn't think was that great actually, so it's its sort of on par with, with that, I suppose. But it's certainly nowhere near as good as the animation quality in Dragon's Lair. 
audio wise it's not great either this same fucking music plays all the way through and uh, it's not particularly good the uh, voice acting there is some in it but it is fucking abysmal ah oh, fuck it one move I tried to uh, preempt what it was going to try and get me to do. And so uh, that's uh, video and audio. And uh, gameplay, well, I mean, it, it plays the same as Dragon's Lair. So I guess if you like Dragon's Lair, this is new. I've not seen this one before. And completely fuck it up straight away. Uh, this is a new one as well. I thought I was too slow there. And did the wrong fucking move there as well. Oh, I get to put my name in. Cool, isn't that impressive? Oh, there we go. Um... So yeah, I suppose if you're a fan of the way Dragon's Lair plays, you could be a fan of this. But that said, I am a fan of the way Dragon's Lair plays, and I'm not really a fan of this. Um, I just think that the animation is a bit... Um, blah, you know, it's, it's clearly a Japanese anime style. Thankfully nobody has the bullshit big eyes and the bullshit hair and all that. In other words, thankfully it's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but yeah, it just doesn't grab you as much as uh, Dragon's Lair did. I guess it's a case of the original being the best. Um, but in its favour, it does help you uh, getting through each of the levels far more than Dragon's Lair does. I mean, yes, okay, Dragon's Lair does show you clues as to uh, where you're supposed to go or if you're supposed to attack. This one, the clues are not subtle at all. The uh, overlay tells you exactly what you have to do. But as I was saying uh, at the start of the video, it means that while you're playing it, you're not really watching the uh, the actual cartoon. You're uh, watching out for um, the overlay to tell you what the, what to do. So it's a game that's actually better to watch than it is to play, uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's also, I mean, that is an argument that a lot of people, you know, a, a criticism rather that a lot of people aimed at uh, Dragon's Lair as well. You can't really argue with it, I suppose, but, uh, well, I guess it depends on whether or not, you know, the actual, the animation and the story and what have you actually grabs you first of all. And as I keep saying, Dragon's Lair does, this doesn't. I'm also wondering, surely, uh, I mean, there are plenty of uh, gamers out there who are female. You know, it's not a men-only domain. And surely women are getting really sick of the fact that uh, women are portrayed as the uh, helpless, oh my god, I've been captured and I need a man to rescue me. Especially when the man looks as pathetic and weedy as this cunt. So, um... Yeah, it was cliche ridden even in 84 when this came out. So uh, I will score it um, 6 out of 10. It's it's as playable as Dragon's Lair, but uh, it doesn't grab you as much as Dragon's Lair did. So that is uh, Super Don Quixote, uh, 6 out of 10. That brings this review to an end. I think, mercifully, it's the first one I've done for ages that didn't feature me burping at some point. That's probably because I'm drinking a cup of tea instead of Coke or Pepsi or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that one done, and uh, we will see you at the next one.